Find that comfortable position wherever you are. Seated, standing, laying down. And begin to breathe deep down into your tummy, way into the lower belly. Notice the sensations there. Notice how it rises and falls with your breath. See if you can notice anything else about your lower tummy right now. Let's breathe into our lower tummies as we allow our bodies to show us how to get present and how to best experience our intuition right now. Breathe into your lower back. Notice any sensations in your lower back. Notice if there are any sensations you'd like to change. And then go, oh, okay, I see myself wanting to change that. Or maybe there's a sensation you want to hold on to. We're in here to notice all the things, all the thoughts that come up, all the attachments that we have. Because it's these attachments, these thoughts that can distract us from our intuition coming through. And it's not to fit, say the thoughts are bad. They're simply there to show us where we could use some extra attention and some extra awareness, where we can bring our intuition with us to shine its brilliant light on whatever is distracting us from our true light, from the light inside. So keep breathing into your lower back Close your eyes if that helps you connect more deeply. Breathe in to your gluteal muscles and your sits bones. I want you to really feel the surface that's supporting you. Feel the support. Feel the trust, the simple trust that you have that this thing beneath you will support you. Whether it's a chair or a mattress or the floor. And we're going to ask that the same simple trust can guide us deeper. We're going to get curious with trust today. Breathing it all the way down into your legs. And imagining you can breathe into your feet. Feeling the soles of your feet. Feeling the surface beneath your feet. Breathing deeply. Just noticing where your feet are in contact with the surface beneath you. Noticing again how you can trust this without questioning. And now imagining what if I could do the same with my intuition? What if I could do the same? What if I could trust 100% without borders, without limitation, my higher guidance. What would that feel like? You can notice in your whole body, no 
notice your breath. What if you could trust 100% in your higher guidance? What would that feel like in your body? If your whole body, if every cell of your being trusted? What would it feel like in your mind? What would you look like? How would your body move? If you were in 100% trust of your intuition. What would your voice sound like? What would you be saying? What sort of messages would you be sharing with people? If you trusted 100% in your intuition, notice how you would be speaking. Notice what you would be doing. How would you be living your life? It's okay if nothing comes up. Sometimes our intuition shows us that what we need right now is a void. The void, the nothingness, the no-thingness. Just to settle to settle our minds without expectations, to settle our nervous systems without the pressures and the have-tos, to settle into the comfort and trust in our bodies that our heart will keep beating, our lungs will keep breathing, our neurons will keep firing, the same as our intuition will always guide us. Will always guide us down the path that is best for us. Your intuition will always guide you down the path, the path that's best for you. I want you to imagine walking down this path right now. Notice any details around you. Notice the temperature. Notice any colors, any sounds. And know that whatever you see or experience is exactly right for you right now. Whether it's vividly detailed or completely black and silent. A free sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> Take some more deep breaths. Continue to watch. Watch whatever it is you're experiencing. Watch whatever it is that's coming up for you right now. Breathe.
going to ask right now if there's anything your intuition would like you to know at this moment. And just breathe and listen. And notice your reaction to whatever does or doesn't come through. Right now we're practicing awareness. Practicing aligned awareness. With this awareness, there's no need for self-work. There's no need for striving. There's simply the light of your awareness healing whatever comes up, brightening whatever comes up. holding you in a warm embrace through whatever comes up. And if what's coming up is still blackness, then notice your thoughts and feelings around that. That's what's coming up. Take some more deep breaths. Breathe into wherever in your body you feel it the most right now. That's your body's intuitive guidance. And I know if you've got pain, that can be really hard to do or to do it from a place of neutrality or compassion. I know because I've been there more than once. So whatever you're breathing into, let's just breathe together. Continue to feel. Continue to notice your body. Notice your breath. Slowly bring some motion into your fingers, perhaps your toes. Continuing to breathe deeply. Perhaps give yourself a stretch, move around in whatever way feels best, really follow your body on this one. Let your intuition come through your body's movements and just see how it wants to move right now. Let it be weird if it wants to be weird. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. You can come back.